Hi guys, um, today I'm going to show you how we can crack a, a WPA2 protected Wi-Fi network using a Wi-Fi pineapple and um, uh, let's get straight to it. So first I'm, I'm logged into my Wi-Fi pineapple and I'm just going to begin a recon. So I'm going to select uh, both 2.4 uh, and 5 gigahertz bands. Uh, and I'll set it to continuous for now while I'm explaining what's happening here. So I'm just going to start that. Now, while that's running, um, what I'm essentially doing is uh, I've connected to this network with my phone. And as you can see, it was pretty quick for, for that to come up. Um, you'll see the hack this Wi-Fi network that's there. Uh, and it's got its corresponding MAC address. And it's also got the devices connected to it. So that's actually my phone. Um, that I connected to. Um, so uh, I'm just going to stop that for now. Right. Now, um, what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to uh, use the pineapple to de authenticate the users that are connected uh, to, or what, what you would call clients connected to that network. And then once I've de authenticated those users, I'm going to capture the packet or the, the handshake uh, packet when that user reconnects to the network. Um, and this can be done in a matter of seconds. Uh, what's really important is um, to understand exactly how easy this is uh, to do, for one. And two is to um, uh, make sure that your Wi-Fi passwords are quite secure because... Um, it's pretty common if you've got a friend that comes over and you want to give them your Wi-Fi password. It's, uh, you, you know, you want to make it convenient, be something simple. You think to yourself, uh, my Wi-Fi is not really accessible from uh, from the rest of the world, so it's okay if it's not, you know, very secure. Um, but the truth is, if someone just came past your house, collected your SSID, um, and then captured a handshake between one of your clients and the um, and the network um, they could essentially take that home and crack it like we're going to do uh, and then they'll have access to your network so it's quite important so let's just run through that um, so I've got the the devices connected to it my phone is still connected to it so what I'm going to do is uh, let's just have a look at the options that we've got here. So, um, see these little, there's these little arrows that are next to next to some of these names. Um, if you click on these, it'll give you further options that you can that you can do on that network. So, um, under hack this Wi-Fi, I've got the option to deauthenticate clients, and I can send this message up to ten times. Um, and what this will do is it will send a signal to the router and it will say uh, disconnect all of your clients from this network. Um, I can also do this on a single client um, uh, option as well. So if I just wanted to remove uh, deauthenticate my phone, I could do that as well. For the sake of this, I'm going to remove them all. Um, and it, what it's going to do is it's going to discon disconnect uh, all, the, all the devices from that network it's going to send that signal 10 times that will give you enough time to pop over to this little tab here and then start a um, uh, a capture so um, so let's demonstrate how this is going to do how this is going to go um, I've actually already got the the pcap file there uh, from a previous time that I did it but um, let's just demonstrate how that's going to work so if I go here and I'll select 10 and I'm just going to unlock my phone so I can see this connected to the Wi-Fi. It is connected to the Wi-Fi. And if I click deauth, it's going to start deauthenticating, which it has. It just popped on to 4G. Um, and if I'll just delete this and I'll start the capture again just for the sake of it. Uh, so my phone is still not connected back yet. Um, and there we go. It's just this. It's just connected now. So now my phone has disconnected and reconnected. If I was a normal person, I wouldn't have realized that my phone just disconnected and reconnected to my Wi-Fi. Um, it happens that quick. So 
from here, what we essentially have is a encrypt encrypted version of the Wi-Fi password, which has been sent from my phone to the Wi-Fi network um, in an in a hashed state. Um, so we can't just use this file and we know what the password is. What we do need is we need this password to be common enough that it's that it's uh, that it's on a password list. Um, if it's on a password list, then what we'll do is is basically basically do like a um, a hash uh, hash collision, um, hashing all the passwords that are on a password list until we find a match to the to the hash that we have, and then we know what the password is. So um, in order to do this, we'll download the PCAP. Now the thing about um, what we what we're using the tool that we're using is Hashcat to um, uh, to crack this hash. And the thing about Hashcat is um, it actually runs on the um, HC CapEx uh, files. So those ones are there. Um, and you can find a, a bunch of different online converters. A simple Google search will get you somewhere. Um, and you can upload the PCAP file and then um, convert it to a, a HC CapEx file. Um, I've already done that so I don't need to worry but you just click browse upload this one and then download the new one uh, so let's just demonstrate how we can crack this password because that's the fun part um, now providing you've already got hashcat installed um, if you don't then we might leave that for another video but first you'll need to have hashcat installed uh, you also need to install um, uh, the uh, CUDA CUDA drivers, uh, the software development um, uh, platform, basically that allows you to allows Hashcat to use your graphics card to um, uh, to hash through these passwords. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to CD into my uh, Hashcat installation. So I'm running Hashcat uh, version six at the moment, and um, from here, I'm going to run this script. So just hashcat, which is um, basically running the executable, but I need to give this um, uh, values. Now hashcat has different modes that you can use for different types of hashes. And there's an online directory which tells you what uh, the different modes are for the different hashes, which is here. And um, you can find this in a simple Google search as well. Um, so here, if I go down to, so these are the modes, hash modes. If I go down to 2500, I'll see WPA, WPA2. Um, and this is exactly what the the hash, or the, the, um, the file is hashed with um, that we're using. So that's the mode that I need to use to, uh, to, to crack it. So if I go back into here, um, whoops. And I'll put M for mode and I'll put 2500. Now the uh, HC CapEx file, I've already downloaded, downloaded that and I've renamed it to make it easy for this video. Um, so I'm just going to pop that in. So hack this wifi.hc CapEx. And now I need to specify what password list I want to use to crack uh, to crack this hash with, um, and I'm just going to use the Rocky um, password list. There's many that you can use. There's some that have got a, a, a ton more passwords on there, um, but I've deliberately made the password for this network uh, somewhat weak um, because I know that, that password is on this is on this password list. So I'm just going to use the Rocky text. Now, what's um, the scary part is exactly just how quick this is. Um, it will take uh, less than a second to, to crack it, really. Um, so let's uh, let's go over what this is doing. So this is running the Hashcat um, program, Hashcat.exe, um, and we're calling that by just typing Hashcat. Then we're giving it a mode, so 2500 which is basically saying that this hack this Wi-Fi dot HC CapEx file is hashed or it's came from um, a WPA or WPA2 encryption um, background.
you know that that's where it came from this is the type of hash that we're trying to crack um, and then we're specifying what password list we're going to use to try and crack that hash and what's going to really happen is my graphics card is going to process um, a uh, it's going to get every word that's in the Rocky password list every password and it's going to hash that uh, into a WPA or WPA2 um, encryption uh, uh, or hash algorithm it's going to use that algorithm throughout the whole um, Rocky password list until it finds a, a match between the the hash output and the hash that we've provided which is the hack this Wi-Fi dot capex file so once it finds a match it knows that um, it knows what the password is based on which one of the passwords in that rock you list were hashed and then matched with the with the hash that we provided so I hope that makes sense but let's just click start or enter and that's pretty much it so it, it took us uh, 6.92 milliseconds to crack that and it went through 55% uh, of the um, uh, of the uh, password list um, and the password that we've got is awesome with an explanation mark and this is the Wi-Fi network um, and this is just a bunch of other stuff so uh, so it's, it's actually gone through the passwords and it's hashed awesome explanation mark and then um, the output of that hash has matched the hash that we were able to steal from our Wi-Fi network um, and that's how it's determined what the password is so if you're not using a very strong password at home for your Wi-Fi network then this is a, a very good reason why you should um, basically if your password isn't on a password list it's going to be a, it's going to be a lot harder to, to, to crack so if you're using any common passwords um, I definitely go and change that so that's pretty much all um, for this video so I, I hope that you've uh, you've learned something from that and if you have any other questions feel free to let me know